right, everybody. December 23rd, 2021. This is an update on our weather. The rain has begun to really pick up and the snow is melting away. Fast as fast can be. Fast as fast can be. So hopefully everything will be good. And one of my friends here on this channel used to either vacation in Sugarloaf or lived in, in Sugarloaf. So we're gonna do this drive. We're gonna drive up to Sugarloaf a little bit and then come back. So you guys can see. And keep in mind, it should be heavier on this side of town than it is on that side. So we shall see. Maintaining 43 degrees. Wearing one of the new beanies. Oh, dude, the, in, they feel like cashmere. It's really nice. 100% merino wool. And the the Big Bear Weather and More on the front, that's not embroidered, that's a leather patch. So I really had them go all out for this. It was important to me. I want you guys to have best of the best and represent Big Bear Weather and more. Matter of fact, I just went to the post office and dropped off a bunch from Connie. And Connie, I will send you a picture of the receipt. I added $300 worth of insurance to it because that's how many beanies you ordered. Just in case. Just in case, you never know in this type of weather. Yeah, it's really coming down right now. I wish it was snow, you guys. This would be such heavy snow right now. Like, my, it would be my dream. degrees take the back roads to get to where we're going but I want you guys to see what it's like driving the boulevard since that's what most of you are driving right now Guys, seriously, this would be like blizzard conditions right now if, if it was snow. This is ridiculous. I am so disappointed. I am snow disappointed. But yeah, so you guys are going to get to see what it's like on the main boulevard right now, driving from Big Bear Lake to Big Bear City. In heavy, heavy rain. I hope all of you are staying safe down there. This is miserable weather. When it's snow, it's like the happiest time in the world for me. I'm telling you guys, this would be like two to three inches, four inches per hour type of snow if we could maintain it. Well, if, well, if it was snow, but unfortunately it's not. The good thing is, is that the rain affects the lake better than the snow because of all the quick runoff. The snow 
and ice just seeps into the ground wherever it's at for the most part. But this will run off quickly and go right into the lake, right where we need it. And once again, I'm sorry for all you snowboarders and skiers, man. I feel terrible about this. This is awful. But at least it's something different. <sighs> I got my beanie wet. I'm very disappointed. Not that it matters, but, you know, it's a beanie. <laughs> but still. And as I said, for, for the people that want them, just let me know through one of the comments and then I'll give you my email address and just make sure you send me your name and address on my email so it's private. But double check your address, just please double check it. I don't wanna send it to the wrong place. And then I have a Venmo and Cash App on the description of every single video. You can send the money to either one of those, 70 bucks per beanie. They cost me 30 bucks or 32 bucks, but as I said, I'm, I'm gonna show you guys so, so you guys don't feel like you're being had. But it's 100% merino wool, fine merino wool with a leather patch. And there's a few different colors. Um, they're all incredible. As I keep on saying, they remind me of my Gucci beanies that I never wear because they're too nice. <laughs> I don't wanna screw them up, but this is a win-win because then I can make 30 bucks and you guys can have stuff that would cost over $200 at Nordstrom's or Macy's for 70 bucks and then 10 bucks for the shipping. As a matter of fact, what I just sent to Connie, it cost me $27.90, so I didn't think about the shipping too much. Go, buddy. Go, go. You got it. You got it. Not even a wave to say thank you. Not even one of those like, hey, appreciate it, man. Sorry, guys. It's, uh, it's that time of year when, like, usually I'd be avoiding all this traffic, but I want you guys to see how nightmarish it can get. It's really not that bad right now, believe it or not. But it gets a lot worse. I mean, a lot worse. Yeah, there's no more snow in that prairie area. I know you guys can't see the prairie at all. Let me roll down the window so you can. That all got melted away today. A lot of this snow is gone here on these sides too. What a bummer. But don't fret you guys because if you don't come up today, I don't suggest you do if you're trying to ski or snowboard. I hope I don't hear anything mean from any of, of, of the resorts for keeping money away, but I want you guys to come up here and have a good time. I don't want you guys to come up here and waste your money. So tomorrow we'll have snow for sure. And tonight we'll sh we should probably have our first video showing snow. I'd say around eight or nine o'clock we should start mixing in some snow. So yeah, unless this rain really picks up again, this will probably be the last video until probably six or seven. Obviously any major changes, we, we've got to update it for you guys. That's really coming down. Here's one of the snow play parks. Nobody there. Well, there are, but geez, it's all rain. That's such a bummer, man. It's such a bummer. I have to admit, embarrassingly, like if I was still a kid and I came up here expecting snow and it was, and it was raining like this, I'd be crying. That's just how I was. Because we didn't get that many chances to come up here. My parents had a house in Lake Arrowhead and I'm from Newport. And so we would go and visit from the point when I was 10 years old till about 15, but it was maybe twice per, twice per winter season. I think we came up one time in the summertime, that's it. And so there were a couple times when the snowfall didn't happen when it was supposed to and it was just devastating for me. So I can kind of get where a lot of you are coming from and I just don't want you guys wasting your time and wasting your money. It still is beautiful, it still is really beautiful up here and it's nice getting away from, from the, the complete concrete jungle down there but at the same time I know you guys work your butts off for your money and I want you to enjoy yourself. 
So we are on Big Bear Boulevard, guys. We are in Big Bear City now. damn warm too holy moly that thing will keep you warm in zero degree temperatures i guarantee you that i can't believe i've spent like 400 dollars in the past on gucci beanies that's the exact same quality it's the exact same fabric nothing different if i put gucci on this beanie and i took it into a gucci place they would they wouldn't know <laughs> oh well obviously they would know that it's not gucci but they, they wouldn't know the difference and I don't know why that's such a big deal to me but I want you guys to have the nicest stuff when it comes to this channel and for a very affordable price anyway yep Big Bear City and we're going to drive up to the Sugarloaf you guys hang tight for a quick second okay <laughs> Right here, you guys want to shop there at Big Bear Smoking Vape. He has two shops. I'm telling you guys, I wouldn't keep on telling you guys to shop there for your novelty stuff and just everything up here because the guy is the nicest, nicest guy. And he is such a good husband to his wife and such a great dad. His, his little daughter is so sweet, so cute. And uh, he's pretty much the only store that I don't have to go down the hill to save money. Like seriously, like things can be so expensive up here that it, that it's cheaper to t to waste all the gas to drive down to go get what you need sometimes. And uh, he's the, he's the only place that I've really found where uh, I can actually get it for the same price, if not cheaper. And I'm not saying you'll get a discount if you mention me, but you might, you might. Hopefully, he doesn't charge you double. <laughs> His name is Sahil, and he owns both Big Bear Smoke and Vape shops. As I said, they don't just have smoke and vape stuff, they have um, like uh, souvenirs and stuff like that too. Especially at the big store, which is the one that we just passed. They have a store in Big Bear City and Big Bear Lake. As a matter of fact, as a matter of fact, that is them right there. That is that there are two locations. Bam, bam, bam. Boom, boom, boom. <sighs> Feeling a little bit better today. I think it's because of the weather that I got to see my best friend Kurt. Even though it was only for five minutes, I was supposed to go out to dinner with them to Captain's Anchorage last night. Man, my depression and what I was going through last night was was killer. It was bad. So I had to unfortunately not not go. But anyway, we are in Big Bear City, about to get to a stoplight called Maple, which is the street you turn up to go to Sugarloaf. And that is where we are going. We're just gonna do a quick little drive around Sugarloaf and then um, I would take Moonloaf home, but because of all the rain, I'm, I'm not too excited about that. If it was deep snow, then we'll definitely do it. Who knows, I still might consider doing it. As a matter of fact, I think we'll probably still do it. All right, so we're coming up to Maple. You'll see the sign right here, it says Sugarloaf, turn right here. See how little snow there is on this side of town? And it gets less and less the further you go straight ahead. At some points, there will be absolutely zero snow. We're not going that far, we're headed up to Sherlock.
High School to the right. I know you can't really tell, but that's Big Bear High School. Sugarloaf's an interesting part of town. I've gotten into, into it before, but we'll talk about that later. Right, we're gonna hang a right here on Baldwin. might lose phone service for a quick second, so just give me a second once we turn right here until I drive down the street a little bit more. It's weird, I, I'll get like patchy right here. few bars you know what I'm so dumb I didn't I, I didn't think about it. it doesn't matter if I'm recording a video it's if we're doing it live that it matters so anyway we're gonna take this uh, we're gonna go through moon loaf guys and so moon loaf is a very little local little off-road that takes you from this area sugarloaf to moon ridge to avoid all that traffic down there but if you don't have the right vehicle, it can be very dangerous. And fortunately for us, we've got the right vehicle. Me! Just kidding. Just kidding. Seriously, I don't know why I'm feeling a little okay right now, but I am, and I'm very, very grateful. I'm very, very grateful. I'm just waiting for, like, for just... Just the huge overwhelming feeling of like negativity <coughs> to come bulk bearing in. Okay, so where are we? Okay, Barton Road. We're gonna take this to the very end of Sugarloaf and then this is gonna take us to that transition road. In this type of, of mud, gosh, I'm, I'm concerned. But you know what? It'll be fun. At least we'll try. If we get stuck, I have two AAA Premier memberships because of things like this. And because I'm always driving. I'm always driving this Daisy crazy. Okay, so this street at the very end is called In Yo, In Yo Face. We're gonna make a left here, you guys. Oh, it's pouring inside my car now. So, pavement ends 500 feet. You guys saw that sign right there. Basically, this is the beginning of the transition to get from Sugarloaf to Moon Ridge. And uh, look, stop, four by four only. It says GPS is wrong, turn around and go back. We've got all wheel drive, so we're fine. But in this type of weather, it kind of scares me, you guys. Because uh, if you slide it all going up this little hill, you'll, you'll go over the edge. Oh my gosh, that does look pretty treacherous. Doesn't that? Oh my God, guys. Oh my God, here we go. You guys ready? Oh my God, what am I doing? Not in this weather, Nick, what are you doing? Just charge, dude, just charge. If you pop the tire, oh, look at these huge rocks. Yeah, those will help pop the tire. Oh my gosh, guys, this is not good. Oh my gosh, it's so icy. This is not good. Oh my gosh, this is not good. 
holy moly guys this is not good i've never seen it this bad oh my god hit the gas come on dude come on come on come on come on come on Woo! i can't believe we just made that i cannot believe we just made that it looks not as bad as it is guys that was the scariest i've ever done on that road right there because that could have pushed us over the edge at any time no problem we made it so now this is the middle part the little off-roading part that takes you between well we're now in the moon ridge part of moon loaf oh this is awesome we can kind of go a little faster through here even though i probably shouldn't because the water is washing out a lot of the roads so i don't want to bottom out even though i am lifted thank you that guy, do you see that? That was cool, man. I wish I had a truck like that, but we're good in this bad boy. Oops, here's someone else. Oh. Thank you. Thank you. I think we got it. Yes, sir. That was awesome. Thank you, sir. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Sick, you guys. This is awesome. When there's more snow and it's really deep, it's a lot of fun. But I'm having some fun right now hauling some serious bums through here. to the end and then we'll as soon as we hit pavement right here we're officially in Moonridge yes <laughs> you guys come on now that was pretty bad that was pretty awesome that was pretty awesome my heart is pounding like crazy but that was pretty awesome I would not want to go down the way that we just came up though Okay. Okay. So we're gonna take this way, because I like taking this way. We're gonna go up Angel's Camp to the very top. A lot of beautiful houses on this street. This is a part of Moonridge that'll get a lot of snow, you guys, because if we're way up higher in elevation. And uh, a lot of these homes are available for Airbnb. Absolutely beautiful homes. As you can see, there's a lot more snow up here. And it's not like it's that huge of a difference in elevation, maybe three to 500 feet. I guess that is, in the, when, when we're on the snow line, I guess that is a pretty big difference. But the temperature only dropped one degree. It's only 42 degrees. Wow, guys, I can't believe we pulled that off. Holy smokes. That was insane. I hope you guys enjoyed that. That was a lot of fun. That was a lot of fun. signs that say emergency evacuation route and so that's what we're gonna do so uh, am I gonna take this emergency back okay there's a big truck blocking the road up here so I might want to turn at this next street unfortunately uh, it's all right I'm patient I'll wait for him he's doing a good service for us up here Take your time, man, take your time. You're helping keep our city clean, brother. Dude, look at how badass he is. Hells yeah, bro. Canyon Crest. All right, so we're gonna stay on this. Now, if this was icy, you guys, this is extremely dangerous. 
This is the only street that I almost a little, well, I a little bit lost control a couple seasons ago because it's so steep and so icy usually. But I typically maintain pretty well, but it's, uh, you gotta really have your skills going when you're driving down this. I still can't believe we made it here. And then I think Bear Mountain is here to the left. I'm sure you can't see it. But these houses have a beautiful view of Bear Mountain. Holy crap. A big gust of wind just blew in a whole bunch of rain. All right. Wow, what an adventure this was. I'm so happy for our lake though, you guys. This is good for the lake, but I'm so bummed for you skiers and snowboarders and all the little kids that came up here to go sledding. I am sorry. I am so sorry. I'm so sorry. Cause today it started to rain without snow. It's so boring. That's my Nirvana rendition of our weather. Okay, Teton. We're going down Teton. So we'll be, we should be passing by a couple good sledding areas for the kids where it's very safe and I'll point them out if you can kind of remember how to get here. So these gulches right here, when they're full of snow, like here, I'll roll down my window. When it's full of snow inside here on the left and right, usually those rocks will be completely covered up and there's a big, huge area that there aren't as many rocks at all. And you won't even see them with all the snow your kids can slide down one side and start sliding up the other side. So they don't have to worry about sliding into the street. Like down through here. I can't remember what street this is. But we will come up to a street sign shortly. But yeah, especially up here, look, see? Right up here to the right, kids can uh, get on their sleds and slide down one side and just go up the other side just to make sure they don't slide into the street at all. Because we want your kids to have fun up here. All right. Gotta roll down my window, it's so hot in here. Yeah, this whole thing, this whole little gulch area. You can just find a place to park. Not many people come sledding over here because they don't know about it, but I let you guys know. Okay, so this street that we're just on, Okay, let me see here. Let me see here. Sand Canyon Road. I think there's two sand canyons, but it's on Sand Canyon Road. And this is taking us close to Bear Mountain. And we're gonna take Moon Ridge Road home. Okay, so yeah, so this is Sand Canyon, as I think. Yeah, see, there's two sand canyons. This is Sand Canyon Road, and the other way is sand, is Bow Canyon. Okay, so yeah, just turn left on Sand Canyon Road and then make your first left again on Sand Canyon. Merry Christmas, everybody. I would drive over towards Bear, but it's gonna be a nightmare for traffic, so we're gonna go the other way. But to get to Bear, it's only about three to 400 yards to the left. That's the golf course straight ahead. Oh yeah. Forty-one degrees. that we made it through Moon Bluff. So happy. That was nerve wracking. Because you guys saw how mangled the road was and how all the rain was eating away at the road and then there were huge chunks of ice also. Yeah, if I didn't have a lifted vehicle, we wouldn't have made it, no chance. No chance, we would have been stuck. We would have been bottomed out for sure. So that's why I had to have a little courage, hit the gas and if we go over the cliff, we go over the cliff. Make, good, make for a good video. 
would probably survive it, so that would be cool. But yeah, this is the golf course. I always see a lot of people going out there making snowmen, but I don't know if you're allowed to. And one of my friends, Mike, is the superintendent, and he keeps that golf course beautiful in the summertime. And I don't know if he likes people going out there. So since I know him personally, I probably wouldn't suggest it. But then again, I don't think walking out there and making snowmen is really going to hurt anything. And we're coming up to the z -Z -Z zoo. Obviously, there's nobody at the zoo. The parking lot is empty. Poor animals. At least I hope there's they're laying in their shelters. So here's the zoo and the zoo entrance. And we are on Moon Ridge Road, you guys. I gotta tell you, I'm kind of excited to get this drive over with because that was a long drive and a bit of a scary one. I love you guys a lot. I hope you had a good ride and we'll be doing more videos later, especially when it turns to snow. I love you guys very much. It's December 23rd, 2021. Take care. Bye, you guys.